Well, once again, it is such a delight to be right here in the main entrance of New Vision Eye Center. And I'm with one of my favorite doctors, Dr. David O'Brien. Good to see you. Hi, Marcia. Dr. O'Brien, over the years, of course, with New Vision and certainly in your career, you have done so many different procedures and there's so many new and innovative procedures. What would you say to everyone who's watching? What is your specialty? Well, I, I was trained in corneal surgery and um, I did training in oculoplastic surgery as well. So, you know, every ophthalmologist is a general ophthalmologist and then you can pick a subspecialty from uh -huh. there. So what I did was I spent an extra year training in corneal transplantation and um, laser vision correction and diseases of the outside of the eye like, you know, dryness of the eye and other issues. And um, so, but I also did another six months of training in um, eyelid surgery. Aha. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. I enjoy doing both of those things. So you have a double specialty here at New I do. Vision. I well, do. you know what I'd love to do is really kind of zero in on this LASIK surgery okay. that you're doing because I think every time I turn around, I see that you've got some new innovative procedure with LASIK. So how have we advanced? Well, you know, it's interesting. The lasers are at a point now where they're, they're very safe and there's not going to be huge advances in the actual lasers themselves, but the application of them is where we, I think, have sort of honed our skills and where patients are going to have the best results. You know, there's some ideal patients for this mm -hmm. and that's typically people who need their vision corrected for distance activities. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, athletes, um, law enforcement, military personnel, pilots, people who really require excellent distance vision. But, you know, we live in Florida, and so people like doing outdoor sports, golf, tennis, water sports, and so pretty much anybody who wears glasses or contact lenses is generally a candidate. Do you know this also brings up a point that I know I read so many different things about good eye care, and certainly here with New Vision, how important is it to wear sunglasses and get that, those ultraviolet rays or whatever they are out of your eyesight? Excellent question. Um, well, first of all, they, they help protect against skin cancers on the eyelid, yes, for yes. one thing. The other thing that, that is true is that patients who wear UV protection do uh, decrease the uh, exposure to UV light, which promotes macular degeneration and cataract. Uh -huh. And so it's really over a lifetime that we want to try to prevent those things. And so, you know, we want kids wearing sunglasses when oh, they're absolutely. outside, you know, as well as obviously folks who, as we age, we wear them. But Yes, we do, don't we? <laughs> but I have to say that when I think about you, Dr. O'Brien, and certainly with the, the LASIK and the, and the laser vision, you have done so many procedures, and I've asked you, every time we get together, if you've had one procedure, may you have another? Because Absolutely. there are so many different, as we say, advancements and things change. Right. Well, the cool thing is, is these procedures are all additive. You know, uh -huh. if you've had cataract surgery and you have a result where you're still having to wear glasses or contact lenses, you can have your vision fine-tuned. And we do quite a bit of that. The other thing is for people who may have an interest in correcting their near vision, mm -hmm. sometimes we'll correct one eye for distance, one eye for near, and there are, there are treatments coming where actually we'll be able to put an implant in the cornea oh, to help wow. with near vision, and that will be done using a laser to make the incision as well. So we're really excited about that. It's not FDA approved yet, but there's lots of studies going on uh, regarding that. Do you know what I love though is because in so many cases, every time we talk together, I remember when we first talked with you and you were wearing glasses, and then, of course, you had some of the procedures. Right. So you have been there, done that, so to speak. I love my results. I would yes. do it again in a heartbeat. Obviously, we all age. And so the idea is to try to correct vision, you know, almost from cradle to grave. Sure. You know, we're trying to really correct people for the long term. Can you still perform these treatments using laser vision on someone who has had maybe glaucoma, yes. uh, macular de degeneration? Is that possible? For glaucoma, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Patients who have glaucoma, we treat them routinely. Macular degeneration, they're not as great a candidate for laser vision correction because you don't want to decrease contrast in those folks oh, ever. I see. I because see. you want to try to get as much light into the eye as possible. And more likely, they'd be candidates for cataract surgery. Mm -hmm. um, well, this is what I love about New Vision Eye Center. All of you physicians work together. 
And if you have one problem that one doctor sees, there's another doctor who can handle it. The specialties, the wonderful ideas that you can make us all. And as I say so frequently, I look out here and when you did my LASIK surgery, I remember driving home and I looked at the world and I thought, oh, they cleaned up their yard. Oh, they have washed their car. The whole world looked brighter. My favorite part of my day on Thursdays is when a patient sits up and we specifically have a clock on the wall so yes. they can sit up and read that clock. And uh, so many of them start to cry oh, absolutely. and start hugging everybody in the room. It's wonderful. I love my job. You must love your job. Well, I know we all love you too here at, at uh, New Vision. And of course, knowing that the new and the innovative procedures that are happening in the treatment, we're going to do an, a segment with you uh, a little bit later and talk about your other specialty, and that is eyelid surgery. Okay. And so now, well, we'll wait for that one, okay? Thanks for being with us on this one. Thanks, Mark.